it's Cozy Games here, back with another video, and finally we have the FIFA World Cup promo on FIFA 2023. Now, I think that this has to be the most anticipated promo of the year, certainly so far, but maybe of the entire year, because of course... When it comes to World Cups, we only get one every four years, and they're ever so hype, aren't they? And I think I have to say that FIFA has really knocked it out of the park this time. This is just the start, of course, but there is so much content that they've added for this. And I'm really looking forward to uh, diving in further. Now, what I've got planned is going to record two videos for today and tomorrow. The first video I will do right now. The second video I'm going to open all of our uh, packs that we've built up over the past week or so. The last couple of weeks it includes a, a hero pack which isn't the um, World Cup hero pack. I, I guess I pre-ordered pre my game a little bit too late for that. Um, but it does include the hero pack that was in SBCs last week or so. That would, could be pretty decent. Um, we will do that tomorrow. Uh, there's, like I say, there's a lot of different packs. Lots of different types of packs to open um, tomorrow. But I thought f for this video, what I've done is I have loaded it up. see what 100 pounds worth of FIFA points get you in this World Cup promo. Let's see if it is worth um, spending money on this promo. I will say that I don't think that anyone should ever spend money on FIFA. But the honest truth is, if I didn't have a YouTube channel and I wasn't doing this to hope, hopefully entertain people, I wouldn't spend money on FIFA packs myself because Let's be honest, they're, they're always horrendous value, but if we were ever going to do it, I think this promo is uh, the one that we're going to do it on. So let's get into these packs and see if they're worth the money that we've spent. So £100, we're going to start from the right and we're going to open towards the left. First pack is the most expensive one of all. So let's get into it, let's open it with points. Because of that, they've 
twisted somewhat. Um, maybe they've gone extremely the other way, just as, you know, I think one of the tactics they tend to do is they tend to give people lots of cards early on, then they tune it right down when they know that people have, have seen that great things are being packed, and then uh, people find it incredibly hard to pack things after that, just so that the, just so that the, um, Just so that the pack, the, sorry, the market doesn't just get destroyed. Uh, two seconds. Uh, back in here. Uh, there we go. I'm sorry, some some noise was coming through it. Uh, try to um, stop it from going through. Like I say, I, I did see some absolutely outrageous packs um, being opened from these, so I, I felt good about this coming into it, if I'm honest, but wow, that is maybe the worst 125k pack I've ever seen. But we move, this is an experiment, and these things happen in experiments. Alright, let's chuck all these down. Hopefully some of them are worth some coins. Not very many of them, unfortunately. Uh, oh well. It happens. That's the way it goes. That's the way that cookie crumbles, right? So next up is five 100k packs. Let's hope these are better than the last one. Okay, so we have an inform. It is Prema. Not too bad. I don't know if these are tradable. They are tradable. We also pack Anthony in there. Uh, Dushimeni. Vasquez with the Real Madrid two high next to each other there. Jose Sa Phillips Tierney Sangare and Dicker Amsic Dantri Quintero Godin Suarez and Janssen, there we go. Chuck all these down here real quick. And let's get into these player picks again. Doku, quite a highly rated prospect a few years ago. Hasn't quite reached the, uh, hasn't quite reached the, the heights, unfortunately. There is Royce. Guardado, a, a football manager icon right there. Gakbo. Party, of course, Alvarez there of uh, Man City fame. Bogba. There is a lot of Suarez in the world of football. And we'll take Delaney as our first Danish player. First 100k back, not great, but not too bad either. At least we've got the inform, of course. With the amount that that card is going to be packed, that inform is worth Discord, I imagine. Next 100k back. So at least we do get our walk out this time. What else do we have here? We have got a Chiellini. Oscar. Vasquez de Mirabe. 
Oh gosh, there's quite a lot, isn't there? I'm, I'm, in fact, let's just put them all down. It's quite fun. It does kind of suck that, say, I don't know, maybe we're back at Ronaldo or an Mbappe. We get to use them for we get to use them for uh, two months and then and then we lose them. That does kind of suck. Just swap the ones till I get to 80, 81 rated, and then I'll just chuck the rest down. So nothing. Let's chuck these all down. Nothing overly impressive in there. The hay is always nice, isn't he? But I mean, he, he's basically uh, about as cheap as it gets when it comes to 87. Let's see how the player picks look. This bar card does look bright nice. And I, I quite like a kanji, especially the inform. Uh, Brozovic. Varane's a pretty nice one to pick up. Of course, we're going to have to use these players to do objectives for the next couple of months. So it is quite important that we manage to get some nice ones for the club. Araujo is a nice one. Uh, Ericsson. Of course, I think all of these, or at least most of them, have a, a one upgrade rate. Like Ericsson. So, um, Araujo has a one upgrade. I don't think they all do, but some of them have upgrades and some don't. This Hudali. And finally, uh, we'll go with Mbabu. Okay. Two Jumbo Rares left. Come on, please, yeah, give us something nice. Yes! I'm, I'm not sure how good that is. I don't think it's exceptional. Oh, Neymar in there too. Wow. Oh, why did... Uh, I did that by accident. Well, we got Neymar and we got a, uh, a World Cup player for the first time. So that's really nice. Let's get into these uh, World Cup things. That Neymar, I think, I think we really deserved that Neymar after the the awful players that we've had so far. Okay, so we already own party, so we'll take Lee Kang in to fry or Dybala. I guess we take Dybala. I do want 
wonder if there's going to be SPCs specifically needing these cards. I would imagine that there probably will be. There's a Delict. Um, we'll take Acevedo. He's got Acevedo's got quite the hairstyle, hasn't he? Some luscious long locks there. Spends a lot of time with shampooing. Shampooing his hair by the looks of things. Um, there's Big Show. We've got a few nice Swiss players now, I think. Party seems to be the player that comes out the most. Okay, so our final 100k pack. Oh dear. Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Oops, I didn't mean to do that, but it doesn't matter. Take Asano, he, he actually looks like a... Well, let's put it this way, he's not a dead 78 card. He's better than uh, most 78 rated cards in the game. Well, actually, we already own both of these, don't we? So, anyway, it doesn't matter. Somewhere, do 
two Swiss players in that one. And then finally, we'll take Biojo. The honest truth is, I know we pack Neymar, but I mean, with, with the price of gold players currently, we will come back here and check out um, the last few uh, points that we have, but I want to go and look at Neymar. Let's have a look at Neymar's price. I will check out Milik also while we're here. Um, there, there's the, the, whoops. Okay, so he's about, I'd say about 340k. That's not bad. I'm very happy to pack him. Oops, Milic to Milic. However, we have just spent 100 pounds. And I think we might have basically um, maybe made, I don't know, 400k at most. Let's just check what the card is here. Uh, yeah, he, this is this card. Which isn't surprising. I mean, it's just not a very impressive card. And it's very unlikely that Poland will progress um, very far in the tournament. So, yeah, it's not great. Um, the honest truth is, and of, of course we can, I think we would all predict the same thing. What's that about? Um, I think we'd all predict the same thing. That the, the packs just were, would not be worth it. But I think it's nice to do the experiments. So let's get into our final 2,000 points. Ricardo Pereira. Nothing very good in there, unfortunately. Um, whoops. Let's throw everything down here. Let's see what we get in these this time. Yikes. Okay. And this one. We'll take Johnson. I think that's a double upgrade. I could be wrong, but I think that's a double upgrade. Is that a walkout? Yeah, it's gonna be Thiago Silva again, isn't it? It's always Thiago Silva. Oh, I, I really need to stop doing that by accident. Okay. Yeah. Both as bad as each other there. And Declan Rice will take Declan. those in the club and our final two we have Foden already so we'll take Mertens he, he has got quite an aggressive um, downgrade when it comes to pace this year hasn't he and of course we already have Araujo so we will take Canago and that I think is that and uh we have 300 FIFA points left, and we will use that to do the draft in the next episode. So there we have it. Uh, you tell me, was it worth it? Was uh, what we packed the Neymar and the Milik, um, and the various other smaller things that we packed, is that worth um, 100 pounds? Let me know in the comments. But until next time, stay cozy.